Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast, issue 183. Sorry, guys, this one's come out a bit later, but it was a completely busy weekend. So this is a little midweek special. Uh, and guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the new Brothers Geek Out podcast page. Uh, I'll, the link is in the description and it'll be all over social media. Uh, but yeah, G-Man, how's it going, bro? You all right? Good, bro. I'm good. It's good. It's good to do this in the middle of the week. Well, I say good to do it, but it's mad busy at the moment, but I'm glad we found time to to catch up. But yeah, everything's mm. good, man. I've been all right. Same thing, working, training, geeking out over the Wu-Tang show. And I'll be, I keep posting new lot on, on WhatsApp, bro. But that Wu-Tang American saga is give, literally gives me goosebumps. Like, I'm yeah. not joking, man. Like, if you're a Wu-Tang fan, if you're an old school hip hop fan, you will love it, man. And it's almost like the season one is like the Avengers and all their trials and tribulations. And, yeah. you know, they're just, they're just not a unit. And then by um, season two, it's like RZA's like, you could say Nick Fury and he just kind of puts them together and the Avengers form. And, bro, just like the way it's shot as well. Yeah. Like, you know, Riz is a part of it. And obviously he's been wildly crazy. He's been in the movie industry and he's influenced by Tarantino and whatnot. So there's some episodes that have like a Western sort of theme. There's some episodes where, you know, they're creating some of their classic tunes and you, you feel like you're there when they're creating it. And it just yeah. feels amazing that, you're, you know, you're witnessing the moment that it came up. And some of them, they shoot like what's going on in Riz's head when he's thinking of a beat and where people drop and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So it's it's really cool. And then when they drop their first single, again, it just is it's so amazing how it's put. I've, I'm proper geeking out, man. Um, and, you know, Sounds when you good. hear those tunes, when you hear Method Man, just, you know, M-O-T-H-O-D, man. Like, you're just like, oh, my God, this is, you feel like you're there when it's being created. It's, yeah. it's really cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm just over exaggerating it but i've been really geeking out on that on that show so that's what's been keeping me company uh for the last couple of weeks i would say but um yeah man other than that same same no it's good it's been a busy busy uh october so it's gonna be one of the first weekends we get to chill man but uh yeah last week seren got married uh, congratulations to Serena Rita. I got to see all the boys. It was really good, man. It was, uh, it was a really good, good, good weekend. We'll but talk about still... you know hip hop and whatnot. I heard, I saw some of the videos where the boys got on the mic and was spitting some of the old school garage and whatnot. I showed my girl and she was like, "What language is that?" I was like, "You, you, you'll never know. You'll never understand. Don't worry about it." But I, 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 I got goosebumps watching that. I mean, I wish I was there just, just to. Mm listen to them get on the mic and you know they're old school friends and Suren just got married it's, it's it's crazy um I'm not comparing but you know out of all of them Suren's probably like ODB uh, <laughs> if, you, if, if you was to compare him to the Wu-Tang yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that would yeah. be Suren basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah no definitely no, congrats to them it was a good 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 fun one uh, and that's about it, bro, man. I'm trying to schedule out the rest of November and December, so it's an easy one for us to get things done. Guys, make sure you check the link in our description for the Red Bubble store and the Tea Public store. It's where you can get your Brothers Geek Out merchandise. So make sure you check that out, guys. Hoodies, T-shirts, desk mats, stickers. There's all sorts on there. So what I hopefully will have for the next episode or the week, week after is some some of the gear here so you guys can see how it looks so make sure you guys check that out and you can get your brother's geek out podcast t-shirt hat face mask stickers notebooks it's massive there, there's, there's there's a whole amount on there so make sure you check it out gmail when you get the chance check it out as well there's loads of stuff on there Definitely. so you can even get pillows with the brother's geek out podcast logo on there so check that out mm-hmm. uh, sleep on my face exactly exactly but uh, let's jump in, man. There's a lot that's happened in, in, in the past week and we didn't get to catch up on last week's one as well. So we're going to jump in and jump into the ambulance trailer. What did you think, bro? Bunch of trailers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, bro, I, I saw Jake Gyllenhaal, to be honest with you, when I first, first saw the trailer and I was like, oh, OK, cool. I love this dude. I love Whatever he yeah. touches, I, I, I want to see. Uh, and then you see Michael Bay and whatnot. Um, and then there's a few other casts and you're just like, wow, this was... You know, it's going to be, I feel like from the trailer, you're going to see, you know, a fast paced Michael Bay movie. You know what I mean? Like, 
um, you know, it's typical Michael Bay style, good action, good camera work. You know, he does that 360 degree rotation in one scene. I'm sure I'm going to see that. Yeah. Uh, there's a hot girl in it, as 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 there always is. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I mean, look, it seems interesting. I don't. I wonder how much of the movie is in the ambulance because the movie is called Ambulance. And yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much of the movie is actually in the ambulance, but um. Yeah, I mean, you know, for February, Michael Bay movie, you can't go wrong. I'm definitely going to the... Uh, listen, I love going to cinema, and then the only opportunity to watch a movie that's partly good, I'm going to watch it out. So that's definitely one I'm going to check out in the cinema. No, definitely. Same here, same here. Uh, Uncharted, bro, what did you think? Well, I'm not familiar with the video game, so I can't compare that. So just as a general movie, I thought it was okay. Ashraf sent a clip saying showing the comparison, and they used some of the clips mm. for some of the scenes from the video game. Um, look, I, they don't look like the characters or none of that stuff, but I don't think it really bothers me, man. Mark Wahlberg's fun. Freaking Spider-Man's in it. Sorry, I'm, I, I know um, <laughs> Tom, you're Spider-Man, bro. Um, I think it'll be fun watch you know if i was into the video games maybe i'll have more criticism against it but i'm not so i'm just taking it as a as a movie as a movie yeah no same here same here i just same here for me the the looks kind of got me a little bit but i know i'll end up enjoying it when i watch it so that that's that was all right that's all right uh, ghostbusters trailer bro what did you think you told me about this last week and i was like no i haven't seen it and then i came across it oh my god i was i got goosebumps bro that was an awesome trailer. And you know what? Actually, you told me about it. And Kevin Smith was talking about it with Mark Bernard. And he was asking Mark Bernard, have you seen it? And the guy was like, no. And Mark Bernard was like, no. And Kevin Smith was like, you need to see the international trailer. Because my God, that, that's what got me pumped. And that's what got him pumped. And I watched it and I was like, that's going to be fucking awesome. That's Especially moist. when they started busting the music. Um, you know, the old Ghostbusters yeah. tune and whatnot. You're like, okay, this is going to work. You know, because at first you're thinking, now nah, the kids and whatnot. But they reference Egon more. And again, that tune that came on with the action, you're just like, yep, yep, okay, I'm in. I'm, I'm 100% in. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, definitely. That was a good trailer. I really enjoyed that. Had a really good feel to it as well. And they, they, they listen, man, it's, it's a hard one because when you've got beloved franchises like that, that we fully love, like nothing can compare to what we got in the 80s and 90s. Uh, and the late uh, uh, night, sorry, nineties and early two thousands to to get in the franchises we get now. So it, it well, has to have a the, bit of something that we still love to it, I suppose. Well, that's what was so wrong with the one that they rebooted with the females. Like they they took Ghostbusters completely out. They turned it into a silly comedy, and it was basic. You know what I mean? If they shot that if they made that movie similar to the original one not so, when i say similar i'm talking about the same sort of vibe or whatnot but that ghostbusters movie they brought out was a stupid comedy like don't you know those stupid comedies that you sit there and want to enjoy and have a laugh it's one of those but that's yeah. not ghostbusters ghostbusters has humor in it but you know bill murray type humor that shit was jokes you know what i mean so yeah, 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 yeah. this one doesn't seem like that this one seems like it's coming off the third one uh this you know the original ones and um I'm looking forward to it because, you know, you never know who's going to show up in this, man. I mean, listen, Paul Rudd's in this, and I know we spoke briefly about it, but Bill Murray's going to be in the Ant-Man movie, second movie they're making together, like Ant-Man and Bill Murray in, this, in, in, this, in the same movie, like Ghostbusters and, and Ant-Man. So nice. um, yeah, I, I hope, definitely. I mean, I mean, I'm assuming Bill Murray makes an appearance and, and Dan Aykroyd and them lot make an appearance in this movie, but... I'm in. I'm, I'm hoping. In. I need to find out if London Film and Comic Con got uh, Ernie Hudson coming up because if he's there, I have to meet him. I have to meet him, without a doubt. I have to meet the one of the Ghostbusters at least. I think that'd be like is one. He, is he scheduled? Is he scheduled? I, he was scheduled, but I'm not sure if he's on it again. So I'm gonna double check the list because I remember last year before all the Comic Con started closing down and saying that I'm not gonna do it. His name was on the list. You know what, what? Let me check it now, man, because I'm getting There was an MCM Comic Con that just happened this weekend, though, right? Yeah, we missed. I missed oh, that. Obviously, my, you at the wedding, yeah. Yeah, first Comic Con I missed in almost, what, 10 years, bro? Usually, was, I go anyone, to all of them. Yeah, anyone? Charlie, anyone? Co Charlie Cox, uh, Tom Hiddleston. Oh. Uh, oh, bro, th this is what killed me. A day before Soren's wedding, yeah? I could have went on a Friday, but I thought, I don't want to stress out. And plus, we've got the hotel to go to. Let's just... It'd be a bit of a relaxed one instead of a forced, busy 
no need busy weekend. And I thought, ah, oh, I could have went on Friday. Bro, they had David Hayer there, who did the voice for Metal Gear Solid and was the Giver. Giver, yeah. Bro, I was, and they posted it up on Thursday night, and I was like, you bastards. I could have met him, man. I want to meet the guy ever, man. I could have oh, d- lose, yeah, man. I, Metal I Gear Solid. Figure, I got my figure right there. My girl was asking, like, why do you have all these Marvel ones and then this ugly blue thing? I'm like, you don't know nothing about guy, but don't chat too much. Man. <laughs> don't chat too much about ugly blue thing. We talk about that's like the Japanese Iron Man type of thing. Alien exactly, Iron bro. Man. <laughs> exactly. That's an alien <laughs> Iron Man there, bro. I'm telling you. Anyway, listen, bro. So, yeah, uh, he was there. So, yeah, f- look. It happens. Hopefully I get to cross paths another day. If the universe works in the right way, it will work in the right way. Uh, anyway, but uh, while while I look to find out if Ernie Hudson's there, uh, the Scream trailer, bro, what did you think of that? Bloody hell, Scream. Remember that? We grew up with that movie, actually. So that was our generation, right? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah when we were teenagers, I grew up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, bro, I'm not going to lie. When I used to watch that movie, I used to watch it for the, you know, the, so was Sarah Michelle Gellar in it? No, no, no. no the pretty girl, the pretty teenage girls they had in there, the 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 ones that represented the high school chicks and whatnot. Uh, the movie was okay. I mean, you know, Scream One was great, and then they made two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. Um, Courtney Cox and whatnot. Yeah, man, not, not too bad. I mean, let's, I'm, you know, I, I tell you what was funny is the first scary movies. I mean, I know that's not Scream, but remember that one? That one killed us, bro. Um, so when you think of Scream, I always think of scary movies, the first one, because yeah, that yeah, was yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, definitely, definitely, definitely. That was I'm a crazy funny. fan, but I remember, remember my friend Tarek. Remember how scared he got from Scream, mm. uh, and we used to play pranks on him or whatnot. But yeah, yeah. he, he, you know, I remember. I, I, that's what I remember about Scream as well. He got terrified for some weird reason about this movie. But you know, this is one of those Jason and um, you know Friday the Thirteenth type of movies. You know where. There's a killer and whatnot, you know, and he never dies. And then, spoiler alert, I mean, obviously this guy's human and just someone else keeps taking his place, but it's quite one of those things that he never dies. The character of Scream, Ghostface, whatever they call him, just never dies off. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, interesting. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll still watch it just to see what it's like compared to the old they ones. They call the but... cast back. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying. All of them. I remember her name. What, what was the Nev Campbell. girl's name? Nev, Nev, Nev Campbell. Campbell. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Nev Campbell, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they got all of them yeah. back. So why not, I guess? I just keep remembering Officer Doofus and uh, thinking of Jakob because Javid calls him that. It kills me, bro. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Let's move on to what happened last week or the week before, which is quite quite sad bro man like and i've been reading a lot about it recently yeah so alec baldwin man shoots uh the director of photography helena hutchins man 42 years old director gets hurt in the process as well i can't believe this bro Mm. you kind of think like from what happened to brandon lee's thing happened 20 years ago bro Mm. to what to to for this to happen now like what were they thinking like with the level of technology we have now bro, to put somebody in danger like that it's crazy i was listening to a few people talk about it like people that's been on movie sets and all this sort of stuff and they were saying with prop gun first of all there was like all these production things and whatnot and maybe it wasn't checked but there's would really, even with the prop guns apparently there's like fragments in the gun still uh which is what it, but the bullet went unfortunately like through the woman's chest and and um so helena's God. chest and then went and hit the director as well um but they were trying to get an angle like i don't know man they were just saying like they were trying to get a camera angle she was a camera lady right um a photographer sorry and they were trying to get a certain angle and it's just strange that apparently i mean i don't know nothing about film and i was i just hearing on other podcasts or whatnot apparently when you're taking those kind of shots you press record and then you move out of the way like you never get in the way of the gun and and i don't know man it's fucking heartbreaking um yeah, family bro. and whatnot, and you know, I think the, the the father of the victim, she he stood up for Alec Baldwin because everyone kept calling him a murderer, and he was like, no, like, don't call him that. He didn't do it on purpose. He didn't know, you know, there was just some mishaps in the in in the production and the, the you know the, the people who deal with all of that shit, you know, like the props and all that stuff. So I don't know, man, it, it's fucked up. Can you believe that? Yeah, in, in in a movie set, like you know, Alec Baldwin, it's not no 
cheap ass movie set. I don't know, man. I don't know much about it, but that's heartbreaking. They need to open up. We, we, it's it's weird when because we still don't know fully how 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 Brandon Lee still died to this day, bro. Who put that bullet in there or whatever? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Again, that one's got a lot of conspiracies behind it, right? Because of the triad, because of his father. I watched a documentary that that said this was when I was back in Hong Kong. Brandon Lee was gonna in the money he was going to make from the crow he was going to use that to investigate in his father's death and then he ends up dying in the movie again that could be all conspiracies it could have been just a simple accident of a fragment of the bullet being in there and whatnot i don't i don't know nothing about that but even with um apparently on these sets you're not even supposed to have like real guns or whatnot like real guns and bullets like it's all supposed to be props i i, I mean I, again i don't know man i just can't believe uh that shit has happened man so and, 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 you know, of course, you know, it's obviously the victims you want to sympathize with, but Alec Baldwin must be fucked in the head right now, man. He must be, he must be fucked in his head. Like, how could you, you know what I mean? Like, what he's going through is probably fucked up as well. Like, again, I don't want to take nothing away from the victims. But no, no, of course not, bro. Of course this, not. Of course I, not. You know, this situation happened and he's probably in a fucked up place himself. Oh, man. Oh, it sounds horrendous, bro, because, you know, you work in those you work in that type of industry and and, and you think everything's going to be safe around you bro and then something like that happens you're like bloody hell like and i know if you're trying to get something to look realistic and you use these things to make it look real and man you've got cgi and you can't even tell what's real what's not no more you know what i mean so if you had that technology there why would you I don't know. You know, there's so many questions budgets, to ask. Man, it could be budgets, so right? That shit is expensive, and there could have been some. No, bro, it'd be cheaper than having a real gun there, and paying somebody to look after that. Is it? I don't know, man. I don't know. There's more to it, bro. Cost, bro. It's expensive, man. All of that's expensive. They can put that budget into produ- production and, and and use graphics, man. Anyway, you put somebody's life in danger, and something like that happens. It'll rethink and rejog everybody's way of working and thinking of working and safety and working as well because now Alec Baldwin is going to have to live with that for the rest of his life now 100% and 100% plus it gives him almost like I know it had nothing to do with stunt men and stunt women or whatnot but you know what we don't realize how much shit that they go through like all the safety you're talking about and whatnot they're the ones who are in the car crashes and the flipping and dipping and whatnot um, right. I, don't, I, 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 I would love to know like the number of the amount of stunt men and women that die every year making movies. We never hear about that. Nah, bro, bro, bear, bro. There's bear. gonna be deaths on the set. You know what I'm saying? It's a massive amount. It's a massive yeah. amount. It's a massive so, amount. Something we don't appreciate. We appreciate the content and love it and enjoy it and we want more. But behind the scenes, everything has hard work behind it, right? And of course, we want to support them and make the money, but we never want to appreciate. The, the shit that goes behind uh, creating this content. Um, of course, of course. And, yes. and in some cases, as we as we discovered, is you know, someone's life is, you know, it's someone's life as well. So shit, it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's full on, full on, full on. All right, bro, let's jump on to Hayden Christian joining Ahsoka in the series, which is amazing, bro. So having him back as, as uh, Mr. Vader is interesting. Uh, what do you think? Is he coming back as Vader or is he going to come back when he's still Anakin and, you know, slowly transfer all that work? Probably a young Anakin. They'll probably go through the stories of, I'm thinking maybe Clone Wars, but if not, then, you know, his early days as Vader's. But I, I don't know, man. We're, we're getting moist now with the Star Wars universe. Like, if you're bringing me good TV shows like that, then I'm going to watch it. You know what I mean? So 100%. You guys Listen, keep, movies, yeah. Movies were kind of, you know, the new ones were kind of iffy <laughs> with these shows with Mandalorian and man, if you can, if you can get people's hype on, if they, if you can do the shows like, like those shows, then man, you, you, you're rebuilding Star Wars again. And exactly. No one's ever going to remember those Force Awakens movies and whatnot. Exactly. Definitely right. Uh, what's going on there, man? I just lost a Mel, list. Yeah, Mel Gibson. Tell me, man. Well, he's going to be uh, in the John Wick uh, prequel show. I can't remember what it's called. The, the uh, Continental. Um, nice. Which is interesting. I mean, Mel Gibson's big. At first, I was like, oh, he's <coughs> in John Wick 4 because it's Mel Gibson. But he's in the in the show, which 
makes that big too. Um, mm. So I'm looking forward to listening. I watched um, part three the other day and uh, that John Wick movie is so good, man. Keanu Reeves is so awesome. You had Mark Dacascos, you had our Indonesian brothers in there. I can't remember the names, I apologize. But the guys from The Raid. Um, bro, that movie was sick. So I'm looking forward to number four and I'm looking forward to this TV show that they're making. I hope it, it's as good as the show, uh, as the movie. Well, same here, bro. Very, very, very excited. I thought I, I love all the John Wick movies. Uh, as much you know, I love the first one. The first one's brilliant. It's great. Uh, I'm glad Did that they got that? to. Get... Did we, we watch it Hong Kong? In Hong Kong. Yeah. In my apartment, we watched yeah. it on the laptop. Yeah. It was random, right? Oh yeah. yes, I remember now. I was because I was thinking we didn't watch that in cinema, and we were like. No, yeah, we did watch it in cinema, bro. John Wick 1, are you sure? Yeah, we watched that in cinema, and then we watched it the second time when I came to Hong Kong with you. So it was just before you left, we watched it. Did I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just before you left, we watched it in cinema, and then when I came to Hong Kong in February, then then we watched it again. Because you went to... Was it October? I left, no, November. November, November. that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's okay, right. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, cool. Big movie, though. Big movie. Wicked movie. Wicked movie. Bro, what's this shit about Stallone leaving Exits Expendables? Is this well, real? Heard that he's, yeah, he's handing over the franchise. Or when I say handing over, maybe just as his character's going and he's kind of leaving the, the, the main role to, to Jason Statham. Um, oh, so if it's real, I don't kill know. Him but off. I mean, I don't kill know if him. they'll kill him off. Maybe they should just give him a happy ending and let him go retire somewhere. Um, but man, I mean, that movie's... It's a bit tough, isn't it? Like Stallone, man. Come on, man. This is this is your movie, man. Like, but I guess the idea of that movie might be, you know, all the old action heroes just keep coming back. You know, like one exactly. day Jason Statham will leave, and whoever's the new action hero right now will end up being, <laughs> excuse me, end up being taken over. So I guess they get. I don't know. Maybe they could just keep following that. No, they 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 probably will, bro. They probably will. Uh. Hulk solo movie, bro. Rumors are flying around. It's not confirmed, though. It's not confirmed. No confirmation. No confirmation. It's not confirmed. Not another one Until Kevin fucking... Feige says, well, go on. Nothing's happening, bro. So for the moment now, as much as it would be a great story for them to pick up on, it'd be, it'd be exciting. It'd be very exciting. Uh, and then, as you know, Marvel have delayed most of their movies for next year. Bro, you got the hiccups. <laughs> I thought I was a baby in the background. I keep thinking it's Lara. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, hiccups. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? I thought that was Lara. But uh, no. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Hold your breath or drink some water. Hold your breath. Let's see how long you hold your breath for without laughing. I'm holding my breath for no reason. <laughs> Fuck, man, you should talk more. Let me just hold my breath and get this given to these hiccups. Sorry, sorry, go, go, go. <sighs> you f- haram eating bastards, man. I think that should be enough. Um, man, you should leave it all silent and shit. Who's who's eating haram? Habib, like the we do a monthly dinner just to catch up and see each other and like just the boys and just to have a laugh. I'm telling this guy, bro, no Turkish, no burgers, no Thai, because I've just had enough. Be creative. So I said sushi. Oh, yaks like nah, I can't eat sushi, bro. I can't keep eating <laughs> no raw fish games. And I'm like, all right, then, bro. <laughs> He goes Somali. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm cool with that. And then Habib's like, nah, bro, so I'm not eating. Uh, and he goes, you don't have to eat meat, bro. Just keep it halal and eat whatever you want. I was like, bro, I don't want to go out, spend money and not have no meat, bro. Eat a fucking salad and shit. Like, you want to have a game, innit? Who, who, who's in the scoop? Just you, Yak and Ahmed. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, it is what it is, Liam. I just called him a can anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, sorry, where were we next? We sorry, Marvel, Marvel movies, announced. yeah, they're getting Marvel delayed. Movies. Yeah, that's an interesting one, but I, I, I read something about Kevin Feige saying that um, production shifts and changes because they have so many slots, they can just shift it. I don't know. I mean, production stuff, I don't think it's got anything to do with, like, any competition or anything like that. I, I feel like 
I feel like maybe because of the success of the movie. I mean, look, Shang Chi was successful. Yeah. But I, I don't think it, I think I can't remember what I don't know what the number is now, but I think it was like four or five hundred million. I feel like that million that movie could have been close to the billion mark. Uh, let's see what Eternals does. Mm. Uh, that's a risky one, obviously. That's like a Guardians of the Galaxy type risk, risky, nobody knows the characters type thing. Um, so let's see what that one does. Spider Man should easily be a billion dollar movie, easy. If it's not, then clearly there's still some, you know some problems in the cinema industry, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I got a feeling that they're holding tight based on those. And if Spider-Man don't perform, they might just wait until, I don't know, because COVID, I know there's still some restrictions, people can get vaccinated, all this sort of shit um, and whatnot. So I think, I don't, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but I don't know. It's a bit of a shame though, man. We were supposed to get Doctor Strange in, in March and now it won't come out till April, May, June-ish. So... Mm. Heartbreaking man, shit. I want my Marvel shit. I know, bro. I know. And that's that, that'll always get me because you know we 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 waited for so long. You know what I mean? Uh, and just the other day, I was talking to my manager regarding Black Widow and how much he enjoyed it, and he he found uh, Red Guardian funny. He'd like to see Red Guardian in his own movie because he was quite a funny character uh, to see a couple of his missions and see how he was because he looked like he could still hold his ground. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, that's a good one that's a good little yeah. spin-off show or something yeah, they could do. exactly a friend of mine watched it the other day and he was like gee i'm not feeling it tell me man i'm like well maybe you're just not feeling it i, I can't convince you <laughs> he didn't feel black widow and i was like i can't convince you he's like oh, she's one of my favorite characters but just wasn't feeling the movie i'm like well maybe it's just because you feel it as like it's a filler movie and yeah you know, whatnot but the movie was there to kind of i feel like not as a filler movie but more like you know just to kind of she died, right? So just to kind of give peace to her death. So we mm. got a bit more. She made cl- she made peace with her background. So at least she dies in peace uh, from the franchise. But I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I enjoyed it, I guess. I thought it was fine, bro. I think the, the thing is now, like, with movies and how we indulge movies nowadays, bro, compared to what we got uh, back in the days and... You know, we've got, I've got another podcast coming up, guys, uh, a passion podcast with Amy, who's an artist that I met through TikTok. TikTok. Uh, but we were a fan of the 80s and 90s movies, and she's a big fan of Labyrinth, and hearing her talk about Labyrinth <clears throat> was amazing. And then, you know, she's going to go watch June and Dune, June, Dune, June. <laughs> and I said, I would love to have you back on the podcast and talk about it a bit more because I'm going to hopefully catch it this weekend. But, you know, we said, and, and and it's quite difficult to say as much as I love most of the Marvel movies and all of that stuff and movies that come out now, movies are kind of forgettable, bro. They've come to a point now where there's only a certain amount of movies that we'll watch a hundred times. You know what I mean? It doesn't have that factor there's a few of, of the, yeah, there's a few of the Marvel ones, like the first Iron Man, maybe end games or something like that, that you can watch. But yeah, I guess some of them will, a lot of them will just be like forgotten. Yeah, I mm. mean, that's a good point. I mean, but then again, look, look how many movies there are, man. There's so many. And, you know, you have your classics. I mean, you have your, eight, like, listen, we grew up in the 80s and those movies are classics like The Goonies, The Back to the Futures, The Labyrinth. We'll, we'll have, there, there'll be some that exist now, man. I mean, think about, let's think about a movie that, that came out in the last couple of years that you're like, that was fucking a classic Um Inception is the only one that comes to mind. Oh, Inception, bro. Ah, stuff like Spider-Man into the into the universe, into the Spider Verse. Like we yep, love that so much. Like, yep. those are the sort of movies that you'll come. You like twenty years from now, you're like, oh, remember that one? That one was sick. So, yeah, you know, I say look, the Joker, the Dark Knight Returns, uh, the Dark Knight. Sorry, mm. um, you know. So I think I think, yeah, I don't know. There, there's tons of content out there, man. There's tons. Of course, there a lot of them are going to be forgettable. Um, did you ever watch the original Dune? Years ago, bro. I haven't seen it ever since. Why you you watched it or something? No, I haven't. I mean, I was thinking about it, but I was like, ah, maybe I'm I'm not gonna. Maybe not because obviously a lot of this is a big movie, and I be honest with you, I was not familiar that there was an old one. Uh, yeah. I just thought it was a book. Uh, okay. And then I found out there was an old movie as well. Um, but I, you know, I don't think I'll go back and watch it. But you know, uh, you know, um, yeah. No, I mean, I was thinking about it, but. Maybe not. 
Maybe not for me. I'm not. I'm not crazy. Listen, bro. If you enjoyed that, it enjoyed the movie you got that you watched because now they're green lit. That that's out of the news as well. They're green lit part two, haven't they? Oh well. Oh shit. They added, it wasn't even green lit. What? So they were waiting for the success of this movie. But that's right. Bloody hell. Well, thank God it got green lit because I I was generally um, you know, I genuinely want to see what happens in part two, man. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm interested. I'm I'm in now. Um. Well, I'm looking forward for you to watch it and see what your views are because, you know, obviously I saw it a couple of weeks ago. Surprised it came out so late. I think it was like a month ago I saw it. Surprised it came out so late in the UK. I, know, I don't man. know why they're doing this with the cinema shit, man. I Venom, know, I know. You know, fucking, we're not gonna, I'm not going to spoil it, but Eternals pissed me off, that little spoiler that went out. Uh, uh, don't tell me, man. Don't. No, no, no. I'm not, I think we both know what it is, but I'm not going to say it, but I was pissed, man. I was kind of like, hold on. <laughs> This is a spoiler that BBC pull out and all this. And I feel like Marvel was like, oh, hold oh, oh, the fuck up. What the fuck are you doing? But I felt like it was a spoiler where <laughs> the mainstream media was like, oh, yeah, this is OK. We can do this. And then because it disappeared, it disappeared after. Yeah, they I took saw it, it on BBC News and I'm like, OK, Marvel must have said, you stupid fucks. Why the hell did you spoil that shit? Like, what's the matter with you lot? Um, listen, movies got to come out. <laughs> what's that? Yeah, movies got to come out international, man. They got to come out all on the same day none of this you know or a day or two later you can't do two three weeks later man we can't be handling that shit no yeah it, it, i know it's too much we need we need we need that out there quick because if people are going to be doing spoilers like that man bomba clark even mainstream media <laughs> we know yeah well yeah we know i think we both know what the spoiler is and oh. kind of something but i'm i'm very annoyed that that i saw that oh. you're like what a bitch but um, anyway. And Bastardos. Bastardos, Bastardos. for real. Oh, man. All right. Uh, hold up, man. Trying to multitask and work at the same time and do a podcast. And women say men cannot cannot multitask. We can do it. It's just it's only, if it's something we love doing, then we do it. You know what I mean? Uh, what people say nowadays, multitasking is a whole lot of bullshit, actually, because you can't <laughs> really put in, like, the whole hundred percent effort in what you're trying to do is half-hearted bullshit when you're multitasking. Just saying, bro. I know you're. Oh working shit, that's deep, shit. man. That's deep. That's half-hearted deep. Half-hearted games, bro. <laughs> uh, hold up, man. Uh, massive shout outs to Warner Brothers UK and DC UK Comics for hooking me up. The 80th anniversary goodies that you guys gave me, Wonder Woman stuff. Uh, it was absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, guys. So for you guys on the podcast i've got a wicked giveaway next week for you guys and it's wonder woman related so got a whole load of books and dvds to give to you guys man so take it take it join the parties and take it uh massive shout outs to there's a couple of new things that are coming up as well and i'll keep you guys posted on that uh yeah it was uh exciting stuff man we got a lot of response from the brothers geek out podcast uh <laughs> email that i completely forgot we had and uh, we've got some new contacts and we've got loads more to talk about and go through, man. But I'm excited okay, okay. when people are asking us to do reactions and stuff like that, which is great. So, yeah, let's, let's do them, man. Let's do some sort of like, yeah, I mean, look, people are, are listening and let's not lie, lie. The Rock recently giving us a shout out. Did, did, you know, it kind of helped a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that kind of helped. Exactly. Um, exactly. But yeah, no, like whatever, man. Let's 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 keep the content going. Let's keep our thing going. Four years. How long? Five years now? Is it five years? No. No, no, it'd, no, be, no. it'd be four years, bro. Isn't it? Sorry, I'm thinking when I moved to Hong Kong. No, we, yeah, about four years. Four years. Um, Wait, when did we start? Oh. We started this in my second or third year in Hong Kong. So, yeah, it's coming out to about. Have we done three years already? I think we've done more than three years, bro. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, man, look, man, that this is the way, man. This is the way we just yeah. keep doing it and just, yeah, keep growing and whatnot, man. Let's just do more reactions and whatnot. Um, like this week, bro, the UFC is on. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do a live reaction to some of the fights that happen and happening and kind of upload it to the YouTube channel and whatnot and just, you know, just get traction from it. So do it, uh, let's do see. it, do it. I'm going to try and do as much as I can on my side to do reactions and just uh have the page on point at the moment the problem is now with youtube like it's such a it's such a such a weird one because they keep blocking or cutting and you know just not it's not it's not like what it used to be but now that we've got yeah a lot of censorship now that we've got different because i'm not trying to make no money off this i mean you know when we do like uh the 
when you sell stuff online, you know, stuff like that, it's little man, it's my, it's minor. We don't make no money off this at all. So all the gifts that we get, we're given to us, we're given back to you guys. If you guys do buy merchandise from us, then that's a little bit of money we can reimburse back into the podcast and buy equipment and stuff like that. But we don't, the, since we've been doing this, we're doing it straight out of love. So it's not been us trying to uh, pay us, pay us. We didn't open up a Kickstarter page. We didn't do none of that stuff. We just continued this because we still want to geek out and talk to each other. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, help support, man. Go to the go to the merch shop innit? and spend your money. Just spend it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, but yeah, no, nah, massive thank you because you guys put so much info back on the Twitter page, Instagram, the TikTok page is growing as well. And uh, the thing is, I've limitized it to a certain amount so that we can look after it. If I have too many social media accounts, Snapchat, all that madness, it's too much. So we've narrowed it down. The Brothers Geek Out podcast, guys. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, guys. Uh, and subscribe to the new channel on YouTube, guys. I'm going to be posting that all week. Please help us reach. 100 subscribers this week i will do a giveaway uh not this week but just try and help us reach to that share our channels uh subscribe guys if you like the content click on that like button if you don't like it dislike comment let us know what would you like to hear on the next show i need to hear more feedback from you guys this is now more important as it was it's always been important but i'd like to see us grow a little bit more and to the rock shout out to the rocks thank you so much bud yeah, it's a shame that um, we couldn't change our name from the YouTube channel because we had like two, nearly three thousand subscribers on that channel. I know, uh, bro, but they're not. They're not uh, on the Kibla Ahmed page, and I'm gonna be honest with the listeners right now. Yeah, we had a mixture of stuff on there. We were doing reactions, art videos. There wasn't a specific niche on there. So when we did the some of the reactions that made the channel grow, and then for some reason the algorithm doesn't push our page at all, bro. Like you've seen it, it's up and down. We don't get great stuff on there, but if we could keep it consistent on the new page, and that's what I'm trying to learn more stuff about algorithm and analytics. Uh, the honest truth is the only people that can help out is the people that are listening right now. So if you smash that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all them things, then it helps our channel grow and it'll reach to the people that really want to hear our stuff, to be honest. Because if you're already like-minded like we are, then you, you've you already, we've made that connection. It's moving it on and, and saying, you know what? I listen to these guys. And you know what, bro? I do get really good messages from a handful of people that listen to our podcast. Uh, and I'm always thankful for doing that. You know what I mean? You, five listeners, I'm happy with that, man, because I connected with somebody. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that, that, that plays a big part. So definitely that will help out massively, guys, if you guys can do that for us nothing but love but yeah that's about it i think this week actually wait a bit before we go we're going to do a, a trailer reaction let's do this got have it. you got that same one yeah yeah so what do we do do we play together is it going to interfere with the sound and shit what's going to happen oh my goodness so what happens if i share my screen can you hear it let's try it all right let's give it a try let's do a live try we're going to do a live trial. Guys. And basically, have we yeah, tried oh. it before? I feel like we've tried something before. We've no, tried we've done it on bef- Instagram. Yeah, hold up, YouTube. Uh, so, uh, what was it called? Uh, Lightyear, yeah? Lightyear teaser trailer. Hey. Oh, my goodness. All right. This it should, should work, actually. If you share your screen, it should work. All right, hold up, hold up. So, I can hear it on my side. I cannot hear it on my side. That's what the issue was last time. I couldn't so hear how it. How about now? So you can't hear nothing now? No. Hold no. on. Have you tried to try share your screen, man? Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Try sharing up. your screen. Let me do it now. <coughs> so can you see that? I can see that. Um, okay. But let's see if we can hear it. Secured it. <laughs> I don't know why I always remember that. Can you hear that? No, 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 I can't. That's strange. All right, pull it up on your phone, bro. We do it that way. We have to do it. We need to find, I, I do need to find a way of how we can do that. Yeah, we'll just pull us off YouTube, though. Hmm? If we... 
Do the, they, no, they, no, you, you, they, you use this as a clip anyway on the um on the, the other platforms. Though. Yeah, on the other platforms. All right, so I'm using the clip that Ash will fire up. Okay. Yep, same here. I've got the same one open. So on we do a little countdown. One second, one second, one second. When you're ready. Find it. Okay. When you're ready, you tell me. All right, let's do this, guys. Live reaction of Lightyear, Pixar's new movie, teaser trailer. One, two, three. The mission looks sick, bro. Hmm, what does it say? Oh, I'm actually excited. I'm so excited for this bro. Look at that animation, it's sick. You know. And it's Chris Evans' voice, right? Yeah. Bloody hell, that looks awesome. There's a star. It's a big chill. Oh my god, that was awesome. Alright, oh, that gave me goosebumps, bro. Brilliant, bro. Oh, sick. <laughs> that was sick. Moist. Okay, I'm moist, bro. I am okay. so happy. That, was <laughs> that made me emotional, bro. That is like How that's moist. That? We get the origin story for Buzz Light. <laughs> How so good moist. is that? That's that amazing. So that that amazing. Wicked. It's got nothing to do with Toy Story. I mean, yes, it has, but it doesn't. That makes it. You know, what I mean? that's what like, I'm saying, like, bro. How amazing is that? They made a story. Ah, oh, bro, that made, that's got me moist, bro. I have to watch that again, bro. Oh, that's guys, sick. that was sick. Poor Woody. Poor Woody, man. Woody gets no love ever. Woody needs to get his own movie, bro. But <laughs> who knows? Who knows? This could be the well, origin the story. This looks different, man, obviously, to Toy Stories. The animation for this is, is a much sort of detailed sort of animation, right? Definitely, bro. Definitely. That looks that looks super awesome, bro. Uh, bro, I'm actually really uh, excited to, to see that. I suppose... Pixar never this could you be, down as well. yeah, man. They never do. But get your emotions and whatnot. No. Like you know, you're in for an emotional roller coaster with any Pixar movie. Ah, oh, bro, uh, with laughter to crying and everything, man. So I don't know. This they got. But Alara saw me yesterday when we were watching Up, and bro, f that first five minutes of the film destroyed me. I was like, oh, and she's like, Daddy, uh, are you okay? I was like, oh, I am in pain, man. How this movie get me this badly? And like Alara's noticing because, and she really enjoyed. The, she didn't get to watch all of it. We'll probably try and watch it later on today after we go out for a walk. Uh, but she really enjoyed the characters, the colors of the film, and stuff like that. But as an adult watching it, bro, and you're watching it with your kid, you the excitement and the emotions are different, bro. It's weird, bro. Like I really. Like, I love watching stuff with her because she sees it for the first time. It's brand new. She's learning new things. For me, as a, the older person watching it and seeing her being excited, making me excited, but then the sad scenes come up and you're like, ah, oh, my heart lose. Ah, oh. anyway, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. This could be the beginning of the Toy Stories universe, bro. <laughs> Crazy. They're starting the, to the Toy and Stories they universe. Western, they do a Western with That'd be sick, and... bros. They That'd do, be sick. Do us the, the dinosaur world with the dinosaur wine and whatever. Uh, and then they all kind of connect them together. How crazy would that be? Bro, listen, bro. They're using the same formula. Why not, bro? Why the hell not? Definitely. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Listen, guys, as we said, as always, massive thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the new channel. It's so important, guys. Want to see this ch channel grow? Share love just like tell us what's going on in the comments need some we need some interaction with you guys who listen uh we can't thank you enough but g-man as always bro we'll catch you on the next one bro
Cool. Peace. All right. One love. Peace.